If you're a Cubase user, Christmas has come early. With the echoes of the Cyber Monday sales still fading away, Steinberg are first out of the gate with their Christmas present. This week they've released Lo-Fi Piano, a new VST instrument for Halion Sonic that's free to people who have a Steinberg account. It runs inside Halion Sonic, so you do need to have Halion Sonic installed. Now I only have Halion Sonic SE, but it still works for me. The nice thing is, if you're a new user to uh, Cubase, not only can you get this Christmas present, but you can get a couple of other freebies as well. Let's have a look at the Steinberg website. So here we are, Steinberg's website, and we go to Instruments, and then from Instruments we go to All Instruments, and you have across the top all the different things they sell, but then at the end this everybody's favourite four-letter word, free. And what this does is it shoots you down to the bottom of the page where there are four free instruments. Lo-Fi Piano is there, but also Novel Piano, which was, I think, last year's Christmas present, and a couple of others, Guitar Harmonics Essential and Alto Glockenspiel Essential. With any of them, what you do is you click through, you give your email address, and you get an email with an activation code, which you then put into the Steinberg Download Assistant. I'm not going to look at that, but what we will look at is what each of these sounds like. So here we are in Cubase. Now, I'm not the world's best piano player, so what I've done is I've taken some Easy Keys MIDI and created a short track so that we can have a listen to some of the sounds. So if we open Halley and Sonic, we have the usual selection. But if you go to this button here marked All Instrument Sets, you can actually see the individual components that are installed now. Because I've got Cubase Pro, I've got the Flux and Trip, the other specialist bits of Halley and Sonic that don't come in the basic package. But what you can see is that I've got these four additional um, instruments. So we'll start with the oldest, which is Guitar Harmonics. Now, Guitar Harmonics doesn't trouble us with too many presets. It's take it or leave it. So we'll load that up. And if we go to the edit page, we can see that you have control over attack, decay, balance between rotary speaker and a cabinet speaker. You click on to activate or click off. And just move that over there, yeah. And you also have a choice of your delay, fourths, eighths, sixteenths, and your reverb. And this is quite a generous selection of reverbs. This, well, there's four. The generous selection comes later. But we'll stick with church for now. Now, as I say, I am not the world's best keyboard player, but I am going to just play some bits for this. Quite nice, you could use it to uh, turn the reverb down a bit, perhaps put that in more of a room and turn that decay down or delay down rather. Mm. And it's a nice, pleasant sound, nice and uh, bouncy. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll load up the Alto Glockenspiel. Let me go back to the edit page. Here you have a choice of hard or gentle. 
You've got control of the decay time, the tone, again, your cabinet or rotary speakers, your delay, the same uh, options as before, and your reverb, again, with the same options as before. So this is the gentle. And this is the hard. Gives you an idea of what there is. It's the alto glockenspiel, so it's not as high pitched as um, the traditional glockenspiel, although you can still get quite piercing high notes. It has a broader range of ukulele. Glockenspiel is normally quite a narrow instrument. This has, what, there, four octaves, four and a bit octaves range. So moving on, I'm now going to uh, desist from playing the keyboard. You'll be relieved to hear. I'll just move that there. So I'm going to load last year's option first, which was the novel piano. Now, I really do rather like this. Uh, but here, as you can see, we've now got three different uh, presets to play with. First up is the fairy tale piano, and I'll just play a bit of the keyboard here. Now, what you've got here is control over the release noise. So if I just play a bit on the keyboard, if I hit a couple of notes, you can hear the the sound of the hammer coming back off the strings. Um, I'll just wind that back a bit. You've got character, which is, is fundamentally a tone, but it only affects the higher register, it seems to me. It's not very... Um, not a broad sweeping, it's very subtle. And then of course you reverb. So if we go to go to load and we go to the novel piano. Same controls, but a different slightly different context. Finally, scoring piano, which is my favourite. It just sounds nicer to me than the other two. Take it back to the beginning. And then we come to this year's model, which is the lo-fi piano. Now this has, as you can see, a serious number of presets. So I'm just going to load Autumn Breeze. If you want a more considered view and more of explanation of lo-fi piano, Dom Sigalas on his channel, and I'll put the link below, has done a really good walkthrough of, uh, of this instrument. So we'll just move that up so it's all on screen. As you can see, you've got more controls here. Uh, you also have the secret middle key, which seems to randomize um, all of these things. Um, so the one for me that I don't particularly like is flutter um, because it makes everything warbly. You can hear the um, saturation is very high on that one. Let me just go back to uh, my preset there. Autumn Breeze. You've got that maybe a tape whip flutter at the end, which I really don't like, but you can just drag with your mouse and drag it down. Uh, 
um, you've got control over compression. You can just click on the word to activate it and then up we go. Gives us a bit of more control. Saturation, not entirely sure what reduce is, reduce amount it says. You have to watch Dom's video. I haven't quite worked that one out yet. And the filter, which is obviously uh, altering the tonal nature and the amount of reverb you can dial in. And here we seriously do have an awful lot of options as I scroll around to get back to where we started. Long play, large plate, here we are. So I will leave you, play you out with our MIDI track in the background. Go get them, they're free. And it would appear that they're gonna be there and they're gonna be free for some time. So there's no immediate rush. I did have a problem downloading this. And I think that was because my version of Cubase and Halion Sonic were not the latest release. I hadn't updated them for a couple of months and I think there was a problem with downloading it. Either that or there were so many people downloading it when it was announced that the servers couldn't cope. You decide. See how you get on. In the meantime, as always, I hope that you found this of value and uh, until next time, you take care of yourselves.